you've got a great illustration of this kind of love. You were in O'Hare Airport and you were yeah. coming down the concourse and tell the folks what happened. All right, here I am at O'Hare, the great airport in Chicago, and the plane lands a great uh, distance from baggage claim. You know, you can walk quite a ways when you're at O'Hare or one of these big airports. So I find myself in step with a mother, and I want, her to, to, and I want to describe her. Uh, she had a little baby in her arms. She was pulling a suitcase. And then uh, there was a little toddler, maybe two or three years old, a little girl tagging at her legs as she walked along. Now here I was with one free hand. I had a briefcase, that was all. So I walked next to her and I said, would you give me the opportunity of helping you? I'm also going to baggage claim and I'll be glad to pull your suitcase. She said, oh no, 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 I'll manage it. I said, I promise I'll stay in step with you. Just give me the privilege of doing that. No, 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 she would do it. So she struggled along. Later on, as I began to think about this, I realized that she was just applying a bit of wisdom because uh, you don't trust a man you've never met. I mean, after all, I could have taken 10 steps and been ahead of her, and then what would she have done? I'd have had her suitcase. But then it dawned on me how different that story would have been if the person who I met was someone who knew me, someone who perhaps was a member of the Moody Church in Chicago where I have the privilege of serving. If I'd have said to her, would you let me pull your suitcase, she probably would have said, no, I'll pull the suitcase, you take my baby, you know. <laughs> and then it dawned on me, and I want everyone to get this. As we walk through life, Jesus walks with us. He's beside us. And I can just imagine as we struggle and we flail away and we worry and we're full of fear and we're wondering how we're going to pay the bills, I can just imagine Jesus saying to us, I'm beside you here. If you know me well, and that's an if, if you know me well, you'll trust me. Why don't you let me carry your baggage? John, there are people listening today who need to give Jesus their baggage. And it may be, you know, a financial issue, a health issue, as we mentioned, any one of these things. But Jesus is walking beside us. Are we willing to trust him? If Abraham had remembered that God was with him, that God had given him a promise, he would not have gone into Egypt. The whole history of the Middle East would have been very different and he'd have had a record of trusting God more completely. We're glad that he did trust God, but not as completely as he should have. And I maintain that it is better to have a promise in the land of famine than it is to have plenty in the land of disobedience. Trust is the key.